I'm sure you've heard of the circus, but what actually is it? You may be familiar with the experience of circus, but could you describe what circus actually is? Am I technically a circus performer if I don't perform in the circus? This is the deeply important question that we're gonna be exploring in this video. A circus is a company of performers who put on diverse entertainment shows that may include clowns, acrobats, trained animals, trapeze acts, musicians, dancers, hoopers, tightrope walkers, jugglers, magicians, ventriloquists, and unicyclists, as well as other object manipulation and stunt orientated artists. The term circus also describes the performance which has followed various formats through its 250 year modern history. Although not the inventor of the medium, Philip Astley is credited as the father of the modern circus. In 1768, Astley, a skilled equestrian, began performing exhibitions of trick horse riding in an open field called Hapenny Hatch on the south side of the Thames River. In 1770, he hired acrobats, tightrope walkers, jugglers and a clown to fill in the pauses between the equestrian demonstrations and thus chanced on the format which was later named Circus. So now we understand the term the circus. We know what it means and where it's come from. So that leaves me with the question, what constitutes as being a circus performer? Does being a circus performer necessitate working in the circus? Or can you be a circus performer outside of the circus? Something that's always interested me in circus is the pure diversity of the sorts of act that you can see in any given circus. Of course, you have the classics, the jugglers, the acrobats, the clowns, as we've already talked about. But as well as this, you can have all sorts of different acts that in one context would be considered a standalone thing, but in the context of a circus show, they fit very, very clearly as a circus act, which again begs the question, are they a circus act just because they're performing in the circus? Or could they take that act, perform it elsewhere and label themselves a circus act? Let's take break dancing as an example. Break dance is clearly its own thing. It's its own style of dance, a sport. Competitions and events are created and exist purely for break dancing. However, I've seen multiple break dance acts fit perfectly in a circus show as a circus act. You could say the same about other types of dance in the circus. Are they dancers or are they now circus dancers? Is the ringmaster an actor or is he a circus ringmaster? Is this freestyle footballer a footballer or is he a circus act, you know? I think they can be both. But what are the limits? Is it purely anything that's entertaining can fit in the circus? Must it have some sort of physical or acrobatic element? In my new YouTube series, I'm gonna be exploring all sorts of different sports, cultures and traditions from all around the world that I believe could be easily considered a circus act if they were placed in the context of a circus. The first episode takes us to Spain where we will be exploring the Castellas, the human towers. This Catalan tradition originated in the 18th century and is still going strong today. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on to make sure you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.